Barring any unforeseen delays, the Kumase Airport is expected to be ready as an international facility and start operating international flights from this year. Just two months left for the ongoing expansion works to be completed. The phases two and three of the works, which include a newly built terminal with the capacity to handle more than one million passengers per year, extension of the existing runways from the current length, and a control tower is about 89% complete. A test run of of the facility is expected to commence in a bid to elevate its full readiness to accommodate the world's largest passenger aircraft, Airbus A380, which is scheduled to land at the airport soon. So stick to this video to the end as we look at the funding of this mega project, completion, testing and all the information on this amazing ongoing developmental project and the expected arrival on the facility. Before we begin, I would appreciate a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. Let's get right into it. The Airbus A380 is a large wide body airliner that was developed and produced by Airbus. It is the world's largest passenger airliner and the only full length double deck jet airliner. The iconic A380 has flown over 800,000 flights carrying more than 300 million passengers since its entry into service. Upon completion, the strategically located Kumasi International Airport would become the second international standard airport in Ghana to host this airbus after its historical landing at the Kutuka International Airport a few weeks ago. The expansion work at the elaborate Kumasi International Airport is a 124.9 million pound project being undertaken by Constructor Construction UK Limited. The scope of work includes the extension of the existing runway pavement from 1,981 meters to 2,320 meters, the construction of a new taxi link and apron, two new apron parking stands, and an aeronautic ground lighting system. The magnificent Kumasi International Airport project includes the design and building of a terminal with the capacity to handle 800,000 passengers per annum, an 11 megavolt substation, as well as the provision of a new bulk utility service, independent of the existing utility services for the airport. And all this is to enable it to host huge aircrafts like the world's largest A380 airplane. Other works include the development of a 9,000 meter square car park extension, 4,200 meter square access road extension, and two new boarding bridges. The phase one of the project involved a $29 million rehabilitation work, which tackled the installation of aeronautic ground lighting systems and rehabilitation of the existing runway. The groundbreaking for the nearly $75 million second phase involves the construction of a new passenger terminal and multiple service facilities at the airport, ensuring that the airport meets the highest standards. The scope of work are the development of a new terminal building extension, a new fire station, new fire access road, and a new air control tower. Other facilities are the development of a 9,000 meter square car park extension, 4,200 meter square access road extension, and two new boarding bridges. While the scope of work on the air side includes a 7,731 square meter apron extension, a 202,805 square meter runway strip, and an air size service road. Boarding an A380 is a unique experience that introduces passengers to superior standards of in-flight comfort from first class to economy. As the world's largest and most spacious passenger aircraft, its cabin allows travelers to stretch out in a calm and relaxing environment. With the freedom it gives passengers to move about the aircraft, it's no surprise that the A380 is a favorite in all cabin classes. Leading the industry in standards for innovation, experience and efficiency, it is appreciated by passengers and pilots alike, featuring a standard seating layout for 555 passengers on two decks in a three-class configuration. The A380 needs about 3,000 meters of runway to take off fully loaded, and upon completion, the Kumasi International Airport's runway length of taxiways and other infrastructure would meet the standards and recommended practices of the aviation industry, and is suited for the maneuverability, accessibility to the passenger boarding bridge and remote parking for the A380. President Nana Adodankwa Ikufuadu, after arriving at the airport for a four-day tour of the Ashanti region, expressed satisfaction with the extent and quality of work so far. 
and the fact that they may even complete the project before schedule. As they promised, it means we are even going to get the project completed earlier than they said. Previously, when we came here, they assured us that by October 2022, we would start receiving international flights, he said. According to him, almost all the basic facilities required for international flights are available at the airport. Any update on this project would be given out on this channel. If you like content like this, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more of these. Also, check out this video next on this amazing developmental project in Ghana that would blow your mind. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this video out.